All right, guys, welcome to episode 117 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop. How we feeling today, Johnny boy? It's Thursday, it's Thursday, man. It's Thursday, it's Thursday, man. It's Thursday, man. It's Thursday. We What's bike, going on? We bike. Week's almost over, bro. Yeah, Fuck. bro. Finally. It's crazy, huh? How fast this fucking week's been going. The week fucking flew. <laughs> <laughs> it the week did. fucking flew by, bitch. It's it already f- Thursday. It, it, it flew by, man, like a fucking pelican in like, the sky. <laughs> my dog got bars, me. bro. It's not for me real like quick. A- yeah, brother. Nah, man. But it was a good week, bro. Can't complain. Yeah, You know bro. what I mean? Productive. What'd you do? Productive, bro. Yeah. Yeah, shit, man. I just worked on the fucking... The same shit we always work on, bro. Editing, fucking same old shit. Yeah. Just work. Word, know, word. Fucking work. I went to the ABC liquor, man. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, y'all don't know. understand, bro. Yeah, yo, I went to I the ABC. <laughs> I, I went to the motherfucking ABC liquor, man, and I was like, man, they got some shit here, huh? Like it's I'm fancy. I'm talking about, bro. They have two for one deals. They got fucking combos. Bro. You buy a fifth of Hennessy, you get a whole two liter and a half a blowjob. Like. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, and you got a little sample testing. They got little cheeses and shit. Like, come on, man. The like, cheese was good. The, the, bitch, was the good. bitches love the cheese, bro. The cheese with the crackers. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. They love that type of shit, man. You yeah, know, a little bottle of wine. Little delicacy, fucking grab it, you know, get a little too drunk, grab a cracker and the cheese. And then they have a, yeah, a, a little cracker and the cheese, bro. And you grab a cigar. They got a cigar in the cut, you know what hey, I mean? Talk about cigars, like your J, like your blunt, pack your bong, pack your bowl. I didn't you know, know if he saying? said that. I did, and I forgot. I'm Damn, see, litty. that's why I always I'm already litty, bro. It but uh, I usually do. And then you come here two minutes later, look at your J. My dog, that's how I know my dog's like, He was like, yo, I'm lit. His eyes are crossed. He's like, when my eyes start rolling and I'm talking at the same time, bitch, <laughs> it's over. Nah, bro. <laughs> bro, when I get high, I look like I get punched in the fucking face. Like, nah, in the listen, eyes. I've told this. I've said it a hundred times on here, bro. He looks like Lord Voldemort <laughs> right before he fought Harry Potter and got his real face back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Harry Potter was my shit. Yo, Harry Potter was. I even shit. went on the Dead train, ass. like the train. Yeah, the, the little know, ride and shit. Yeah, I haven't been on there, bro. It's pretty dope. Nah. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was really I haven't nice. been back since the Simpsons opened. Like, since oh, that was a long. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Maybe like 20 years ago, bitch. <laughs> nah, that's what it nah. feels like. It was like 10. <laughs> yeah, like 10. Damn near, might as well be 20, bitch. <laughs> just the fuck, bro. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, bro. It's just fucking life. You been to Halloween Horror Nights? I've never been to Halloween. Oh Horror man, Nights, I, ever in my life. I think we should go. You want to go? Yeah, I think we should go. Just bring, I'll probably go, you know, bro. we'll bring it's fucking not, Pedro's been. scary ass. We'll oh, fucking man. bring, we'll bring He's somebody. He's gonna bring a cross and some holy water. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Yeah, yeah. Bring He's gonna bring his Bible, a cross, and some holy water. The, w- right. the worst thing that you could do is just tell your friend we're going out to dinner. <laughs> and you bring your, you bring, you bring your most holiest friend, your oh, holiest man. friend, the one that reads the Bible before he goes to bed, bro. Take on the fucking Halloween horror nights and fucking, hey, bro, watch, scare watch the him. fuck out of him. <laughs> Nah, bro, but that's just pretty scary to me. I've never been, bro, but I heard good things. I remember people fun. going like every year since they were like fucking twelve. Yeah, like I've been there every single one. I remember when it was the clown, and I remember I'm like, bro, I don't know none of that shit. I just know I never went. <laughs> and then they got the chainsaws, like they come and they get you. Yeah, they have like actors and shit. Yeah, it's a real chainsaw, it's just a little chain. <clears throat> I mean, they can't touch you, dog. So it's like I've seen people running, and I'm like. Bro, I wish one of these actors would fucking put a chainsaw <laughs> on me, bitch. <laughs> nah, that's fucked up. I'm going to flip fucking it upside down, bro. Yeah. Sure. I went. Last time I went, I was like maybe like 13 years old, 14. Yeah, nah, bro. I've I've just never been. But I'd, I'd go, bro. I'm down to go if, you, if you're down to go. I was, <laughs> I was smoking a lot of blunts. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I was, I was smoking... Back then, bro, I was fucking smoking like hella weed. Doja, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, yesterday, I rolled up, like, six blunts, and I felt fucking blasted. You, Sometimes, it's okay to let loose every once in a while, bro. You know what I'm saying? But Yeah. You know, I don't do that all the time, though. It's you your little brother's mean? birthday, bro. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. Like, fuck it. We're going to put some weed in there. Yeah, we put some weed in there. We're going to drink some fucking honey. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. Nah, but listen, man. It's crazy, because... 
the more you grow up, right, you start realizing certain shit. I've told you before. I used to be a piece of shit. Right? He used to be a piece of shit. I used to have my fucking Still pants is. sagging, my fucking hair dripping, yeah. jerry curl juice flowing. Hey, I didn't give a fuck. I'm fucking go to work and then pull a lick right after. No, nah, for real. <laughs> he'll fucking make a coffee and then he'll fucking go go fucking take it and fucking rip it from your hand and spill it all over your fucking face. Don't forget the fucking milk, you son of a bitch, you nah, bastard. bro. I was just on some other shit. Yeah. But I used to dress like a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I used to get certain reactions. I'd walk in the store. They'd follow me around. And I used to be like, use racist ass motherfuckers. But looking at it as a grown ass man, now I'd be looking at my stupid ass too. I'd be like, bro, yeah, what are you doing in my store? I remember my dog. <laughs> yeah, my dog <laughs> used to call out racist for everything, bro. My dog used to call out racist for everything. Remember hey, that? Bro. Remember the fucking pack? My dog would not get his packages on time, and he's like, bro, it's because of a fucking. Because Latino. my last day, Latino, he rather go I'm sorry. fucking Hispanic, so they said, fuck my box. They <laughs> kick it over. And they see fucking Johnson and they grab that box Yo, they, and fucking put it in the truck. They said, fuck a Rodriguez or fuck a fucking, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not even going to say last names, you know, because, but bro, fuck anything, you know what I mean? Like, nah, facts, bro, facts. Nah, but it is what it is, man. Like, they might, I, they might, they might do that. They might. They'd be like, you know what, Mr. Smith, I'm going to fucking just say. <laughs> Mr. Smith is getting his package first. Yeah, just because I like fucking his last name better. This other Gonzalez guy, I don't know. I don't know, he's man. Fucking piece of shit. What does he have in there? Fucking what, spices. What is he? He'll be all right. Take take the Gonzalez's. <laughs> take man. What are the what are Spanish last names? If it ain't white, it ain't right. Name me five Spanish <laughs> last names quick. Bro, Gonzalez, Perez, Luis, or not Luis Rios. Rios. Uh, fucking. Uh, Rodriguez Yeah uh, <laughs> like Those are like The basic <laughs> ass ones Where they're We're all like, fucking related That's yeah, what we're the all, fuck We're all fucking Two cousins twice removed Alright Yeah for <laughs> real And don't forget Escobar Bro come on bro That's like Whose fucking name Is Escobar I, not, not I don't know Too many people's name Whose name Last name is Escobar Shit, I would have been trying to get plugged in. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> no. Fuck out of For here, real, man. but you ever been laced with a blunt? Yeah, bro, yeah. I've been laced. Well, not with a blunt, but I've been laced with weed. I told you before, bro, I got I got some weed. I was young, though. I was probably like 16, 17. I got some weed from a nigga that I usually didn't get it from. Yeah. Because I wanted to be impatient and not wait for my guy. My guy was like, bro, I'm out of town or some shit like that. I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, fuck that, nigga. I want to smoke tonight. So I went and f- got fucked. I got some weed, bro. I got home. I smoked that shit. And <laughs> that bien, he had some weed. I yeah, bro. Yeah, I think I told you I the story. I told you the story. I went out to PR, man, and uh, it was like five years ago. I went out with my mom. I actually tripped on Molly. Or, or smoke some coke or whatever the fuck. It, I don't yeah, know what it was. What the fuck that shit was. It was but probably it, coke, though. It was in a blunt. And I didn't know it was already pre-rolled. So guys, when whenever you go out, make sure that you see your partner or whoever, you know, that's rolling it. Just yeah. make sure that you see what's in it. Just before they, you Facts. know, before you roll that shit up. Or just bring your own. I started grinding my teeth. Yeah, I started fucking, bro, I couldn't take a fucking piss. like coke or meth. That's something though. Yeah, I was that's up. That's not no regular shit. I was ready to, to go. <laughs> and it was crazy. It was a crazy experience for me. So, uh, but, I mean. Yeah, now you got to be careful. I've never had that happen to me like at a party or nothing. Like I said, it happened to me just buying weed from somebody I didn't go to like yeah. that. But it happens all the time, bro. Like, don't take no drinks. Don't take no blunt. Don't take nothing that you didn't see and be prepared or you didn't prepare yourself. You exactly. know, it happens all the time, bro. Guys and, and women. You know, like. Cardi B was out here fucking putting shit in niggas' drinks and robbing them. So it happens to guys. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't just happen to women. But <clears throat> women, I feel like they have to be a little bit more careful. Because it's easier for a guy to put something in a girl's drink and carry her out through the back exit in, in the middle of a crowded dark club and nobody really noticed what the fuck just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's, just, it's more of a risk for them. I've never been that type, bro, to take advantage of a woman. You yeah, know? don't like, be a piece of shit, guys. If you fi- if there's a woman that's too drunk or she says no, whatever the situation is, yeah, bro, just let her be. No's no, bro. Let her be, bro. Yeah. You, like, who the fuck are you to try to de- make a decision for the both of you in a, in a situation where she can't 
make a decision. You got to be. What I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on. Bro. You got to watch your ass too, guys, because like if you ever put yourself in a position where like she doesn't know how to handle her alcohol. She wakes up the next day. She doesn't feel comfortable that you're in her fucking bed and you fucking raped her or some shit like that. They're gonna take. They're gonna take the girl's opinion over yeah, over the over guys. The guys, of course. You know, and that's that's a, that's a big thing. So you gotta watch your ass. So alcohol and women, you know, it depends. You know, if you know them for a long time, then it's good. You know, if not, then you gotta watch your ass. Yeah, you know? nah. If it if you just if you just met like y'all met that night or you just don't know her like that, bro, just take it easy. Take don't, it easy. Don't get too drunk. Yeah. Have a drink. You know, relax, whatever, get loose a little bit, but don't get drunk because a lot of shit happens, bro. Like, yeah, and that shit's not worth your life because the there's thing. guys that get their life ruined. You know, it's like, oh, now they're labeled a rapist. You can't live near schools. You can't do this. You can't do that. All over a situation that could have been avoided, bro. Like, yeah, the last up. the last time I was put in that situation, I tucked her in. I said, hey, you know, you OK? You done throwing up? All right, cool. Let me uh, here's your bed. Let me tuck you in. Have a good night. I no, called her the next day. I said, hey, you good? She's like, yeah, I'm good. You know, I appreciate you. And that was it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Was I a little bit upset? Yeah, because you know what? You know, at the end of the night, you're like, man, I want to have some fucking sex. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Like, it's like, that's it's, the whole point yeah. of having a night out. I don't care what people talk about. Like, you go out, you have a night out, bro. You want some pussy at the end of the night. Dead ass. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure women feel the same way. But that was another thing that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> it's funny, bro. Like, men, we have a lot of double standards, right, when it comes to, like, that women shit. Like, like we're dicks, bro. Like, we'll cheat on a woman five times and be like, baby, it was just pussy. Yeah. I didn't mean it. I don't love her. Nah, that us. But a woman will cheat on you once, bro, and it's over forever. You're heartbroken, bro. Forever, You're crying forever, <laughs> nah, for real, bro. Like, and we won't, we won't take you back. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, it's like. You know how many women take men back that cheat like all the fucking time? Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, it's just weird, bro. Men are we're wired different. Yeah. It's like that's a betrayal we can't get over. Yeah, we're like, nah, <laughs> we can't do it. Somebody else was in your bed, baby. Like Somebody. I'm gonna be Drake. I'm gonna be like, who else are you sleeping with? Who how you taking these flights? Because these these I trips are took expensive. You somewhere no one can find you. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, how you seeing all these fucking beaches? You know these trips are expensive, for real. Yo, listen, man, he be speaking some truth. But yeah. it'd it be some toxic nigga shit too. Yeah, for like, real. This nigga talk about I should have took you somewhere no one could find you and shit. It's yeah, like, damn nigga, you fucking trying to kidnap a bitch? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I know, I know, I know a lot of things though. I'm gonna tell you what. I know that appearance fucking matters. Now nah, appearance matters, bro. Round of applause to that, bro. Yo, appearance, oh. man. Like oh. appearance matters in your business. Appearance matters, you know, for yourself. Yeah, that's a fact. You know, when you when you walk in a room, people look at how you dress and, yeah, and, how, and how you how you present yourself. That's that's what it is. If you have a clean, nice company car, people are going to look at that and be like, wow, like this guy is a, you know, clean person. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. A, it's about like you can't care too much about what people think. Yeah. But it's like you should you should want to be presentable. Exactly. You know, and professional, especially if that's what you're into. Like if you're a salesman or whatever it is, like <clears throat> like it's crazy, bro. Like, I was telling you, bro, I used to dress a certain way. I used to get certain reactions, right? Now, it's different. Like, once I cleaned up, I cut my hair. I, you know, like, I changed my appearance, bro. Like, it was, I, I had different opportunities, different business opportunities and jobs and shit like that. Yeah. Like, it helps. It really does fucking help, bro. It you helps. You know what I'm saying? Like, it helps. And, um... Yeah, you got to fucking look good, man. If you look good, you're doing good. If you look good, you feel good. You, you feel good, you do good. You do good, and then you you, you smooth good. I don't know what that means. Man. I don't know, dog, but we'll let them figure that one out. Don't let it slide. Yeah, let it slide yeah. like MLB. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boss. Nah, but listen, man. It's crazy, right? Because we live in a generation where a lot of people don't have ambition. I feel like a lot of people don't have real ambition like they they get these spurts where they feel like motivated and they want to do something and then after a little bit it dies down you know they find an excuse they're like oh fuck it like <clears throat> i feel like if you really have ambition bro like you're not gonna fucking give up on whatever it is that you're going after yeah you know you might decide to take other ways take another route but you'll find a way to get to where the fuck you're going but that takes amb- ambition you know what i'm saying and like I don't know, bro. That's one of my favorite songs from Wale too, bro. You remember that shit? Yeah. Like, you you gotta have that. Like, for real, you gotta have that. You gotta have that ambition because without that ambition, it's not really like. It's, how would I explain that? I feel like without ambition, 
you wouldn't go through the trials and finish them. If that makes sense. Yeah. And um, I really feel like without that, yeah, like you're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah, you nah, need it. You, you need it. You need that. Because a lot of shit's going to come come your way. This shit ain't going to be easy. Yeah, bro. Facts. Facts. <clears throat> Ultimately, bro, it's going to come to all of us. Yeah. You know, some of us get it sooner than others. But listen, man, life is going to hit everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter who the fuck you are, bro. Shit's going to happen. What matters is what you decide to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. What you decide to do with it and your chances and opportunities, bro. You know? Like, we get a lot of opportunities. Yeah. I mean, you got to go get them, too. Yeah. Like, I was watching a video where Dr. Eric Thomas was talking about, like, how even if you're a lion in Africa, a gazelle isn't just going to say, like, yo, come eat me. Like, here. Like, just eat me. No, bitch, you got to get up and chase it and go get it. And hunt for it and work for it. Yeah. Like, you got to work for that shit. It's not just going to come. Yep. You know? And that's in the animal kingdom. Yeah, that's just, it's nature, bro. Yeah. That's how it is with everything. Like, nothing's coming to you, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, you could be depressed, whatever. Nobody's going to come and knock on your fucking door and be like, yo, bro, like, here's this job opportunity or here's this, here's that. Like, you got to get up, go out there and fucking find that shit. Yeah. It, and it's hard, bro, but it's not impossible. Mm-hmm. And there's blueprints for everything. We talk about it all the time, bro. If you have a blueprint, whatever it is that you're going into, bro, there's somebody that did it before you. Yeah. I'm sure they have a book. Go fucking read it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you have you gotta have that ambition and you gotta you gotta be it like you gotta be willing to listen. Yeah. And yeah. I don't I don't know about you, but a lot of people say, you know, that we're not born lucky. What do you think? You think we're born lucky? Being, yeah, being feel, in America? I feel like being in the United States, bro, we're born hella lucky, bro. Like, yeah. we're born hella lucky. Like, there's other places that you go, bro, and, and the homeless people in America live better than them. Yep. Like, as fucked up as that sounds, but it's true. There's third world countries, bro, where they don't have a, a lot. They don't have much at all. Nope. You know, and it's crazy because you go, like, you look up documentaries about them and they seem happier than us. Like, we be living in fucking houses with, you know what I'm saying, air conditioning and fucking all types of clothes to wear and fucking clean clothes, running water, clean water that we could drink, food that we fucking could cook. Like, we 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 have it good, bro. Yeah, we have, it, we, like, have it, we have it real fucking good, bro. I, I really feel like we're spoiled, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, Like, facts. there's a lot of people, like, when what's going on in Afghanistan, bro? That shit, that shit's yeah, pretty that big. that shit's crazy. That shit's pretty big, man. That that's, a, that's a big deal. You know, you seen that baby that was being tossed over that the fence yeah, that you're bro, telling me that's about. That's sad, bro. Like, it, yeah. that's a situation where it's like, bro, like the fear that you got to have to have them to to give your baby away to somebody you've never even met. Like, you just hand up your baby over to somebody. That's sad, man. And then on top of it, you know, like I don't know if y'all seen that picture. I'm gonna post it up here, but there, there's a literally a person in the plane, the last plane that was leaving from Afghanistan. And saving all these people, right? The, like, there was a 19 year old kid on the, on the fucking wing just hanging there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you and think he fucking it, fell. Like, and he died. Yeah. It's like, but that's what it was. It's like he's willing to risk his life, bro, to not die another way. That like, says a lot. To the hands of, of fucking like terrorists, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because the Taliban, it's not everybody over there, bro. Like, you can't just go nuke a fucking like a whole place. Like, most of those people don't have anything to do with that. And people think it's just the Taliban. Like, how are you saying? Like, nah, man, there's other people yeah. there that are doing bad shit. That's not the Taliban. Yeah. Like, you think everybody's just going to join the Taliban? No, nah, everybody's going to make their own fucking militia. Everybody's yeah, but gonna, nah, the Taliban's the stronghold, though. Yeah, they're going like, to run they're, shit up. Man. They're, they're the ones that are running but shit. But there's other people who like just like, yo, man, like, I'm just going to do some bad shit. You don't know. There's no fucking, like, shit. Actually, yeah, it's just craziness The going thing on. is, it's like... It's like, bro, we should have never gone in there in the fucking first place. It was 20 years of fighting, thousands and thousands of lives lost, and it's disrespectful. In my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's in the military, y'all go down in the comments and let me know if you agree with this. But I feel like it's it's a slap to the face to the guys that fought over there and lost people over there. Yeah. They lost their brothers over there, bro. And it's like, all that bloodshed for what? You should have never fucking gone there in the first place. Yeah. Like, that's really, like, the way that they left and they left certain people, like, they left allies, bro. That's fucked up. Like, you know they're going to get killed. Yeah. 
And they left, a lot of, they left a lot of guns. They left a lot they of They left shit it too. all. Yeah. They had, they literally, <clears throat> they had a peace treaty where all, like the Taliban called the fucking generals. They were about to go to war. Like they were literally right. Like they were about to go to war. And then like they got a call saying, yo, we came to a truce. Just we'll let these plans land. When they land, put down all your guns, leave all your cars, leave all your tanks, leave everything. And just get in the planes and leave. Yeah. That's what the Taliban told them. They said, okay. And mm. just left. Damn. But you left them with all the ammo, all the guns, all the cars. So now the Taliban is the military over there. Yeah. And they're running shit. And it's like, bro, like y'all fucked a lot of people over that helped us, man. There's yeah. allies that are stuck there now, bro. Yeah. That yeah. are scared. Yeah. That are like, yo, bro, like we helped y'all for 20 years and now you just leave us to die like this? Because yeah. you know they're going to kill us. Yeah. You know that they know that we helped you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like America, man. We like, it, it's crazy, bro. Nah. Ultimately, it's all about fucking, it's, it's all, all about money, bro. Yeah, it's all about Ultimately. money. That's it. All about money and power. And um, there's nothing that we can really fucking do about it, man. Um, it's sad, sad story, man. I really feel like we're 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 really blessed to be here again, and people need to realize that. I'm gonna keep saying it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, nah, bro. We're blessed, bro. We have opportunity. We can sit here. You know what I'm saying? People, people make money for doing this. Like people make money for for just delivering it, food, delivering for like just you can make a living here, bro. We're not doing too much, too much work, and make a living and survive and. And be all right, bro. Yeah. Like if you don't do drugs and you're not into anything crazy, you can even yeah. do that. Just like there's there's niggas that, that do hella drugs, bro, and they're still functional. But it's it, it's all a choice, man. Yeah, it's all a choice. Ultimately, bro, like not condoning drugs. I'm not saying go do drugs. Bro. Yeah, don't do drugs. But there but are functional people. It's yeah, like, there's people that are functional drunks. Like, but that's listen. that's what it is, man. Yeah, be grateful, man. Be, be fucking grateful. Be grateful for, for it, man. But listen, it's crazy, right? Us men are pieces of shits, man. We have double standards, bro. Mm. We have double standards, bro. And I'm going to just keep it a buck, right? We got double standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we just... There's a lot of shit that we'll do that we won't allow a woman to do, bro. It's, it's so true. Up, like, go to the strip club? No. Nah. Yeah, like, not even that, but we're like, no, you got to go with me. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. men are just like that. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to the strip club. Facts. That's how I am. Like... You're like not that. going to that. We're going to We're going, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And we're going to vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> but what yeah. if she don't want to vibe with you yeah. there, bitch? Nah, well, guess what? You ain't got no motherfucking choice. You got no choice. You got to deal with me. Nah. Oh, man. Nah. Bro, we're so fucking toxic as guys, bro. Nah. Ladies, this is us admitting it, bro. I'm going I'm to keep it a beam. Nah. Like, we just, we're toxic. We're just as toxic as y'all. But y'all are a little bit different because... I Y'all like to just, have fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm a type of dude that likes to have fun. Like, if you don't pique my interest and, like, get me mad and also, like. like if you're if, just not toxic, bro. Yeah, if you're like, not toxic. Like, if you're too nice and man, you're just, you're like, that, no, bro. no, it's okay, John. No, it's it's all it's all good. No, I need you to be like, yo, give me some attitude. Ignore me. Do something. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I need this you to, like. This nigga needs a fucking yo, a toxic girl, bro. Nah, that's man. what he's saying. And that's, I don't know. Every toxic bitch that I've been with. It's been like great and great in bed. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's it. But that's it. They're good. They got good pussy, bro. And what they're, else? they're pretty good chicks. What else? They give you a fucking headache after you bust your nut. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember one time, man. Like I had I had a girl come over and uh she didn't like it, man. Like we had sex at night and then we had sex when we woke up in the morning and I was like, Hey, you know, I need you to go. Like like I, I didn't mean it. I didn't say it like that, but I was like, you know, hey, I gotta get going. I got errands. I gotta run. Yeah, no, I got shit. I got, I got do. shit. I gotta do. And I guess she took it the wrong way, you know. And I was just like, hey, like, just let me know when you get home. And yeah, she did. But like, we just stopped hanging out after that because it's just like she she wanted me to like do the whole nine, you know, like get up. Like I should have maybe cooked her some breakfast and some shit. But I was like literally like in a rush. I got I got shit I gotta Girl. do. You know, I, I yo, but that's I even, what, that's I even where communication gave, comes in. Yo, I gave her some money for you know the drive through. I was like, hey, here's some yeah, gas. Yeah, but you it, know? listen, man, sometimes, but I don't know, bro. I don't like you just gotta keep it real, bro. Yeah, you I, just gotta just be like, listen, man, I want you to spend the night in the morning. We're gonna part ways, whatever. That was the plan. Get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was your plan. I'm pretty sure you didn't <laughs> fucking tell her though. Nah. <laughs> 
I let I let her know yeah, like no nah, like I didn't No, nah, you didn't let her know shit. <laughs> she thought y'all was gonna cool it the next day, just kick back, smoke weed, and you fucking told her she gotta go. <laughs> Listen, baby. Nah, nah, nah. But I didn't I didn't do it in in a rude way. Like I do things like the way the way I do things is like very subtle, very like very smooth. <laughs> I'm not like rude about it. Like I'm not in a rush to get you out. Like you know, hey, you want to take a shower? Like whatever. Like cool. Yeah, no. Nah, but facts, but it's facts. like, come on. Like I got. But no, nah, I got do. shit. I gotta do. Yeah. That's a fact. Like, listen, bills don't fucking pay themselves, bro. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. Like straight the fuck up. Just straight like that, we gotta go. Hey, listen, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, guys. I'll tell you what. We are gonna get this shit right for the one time. One you know fine I mean? time. Listen. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch, you know what I'm saying? And listen, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.